I did want to share with you guys the direction of our farm and just where we're headed in the next uh, foreseeable future, I guess. Day after Christmas and we decided to spend our Christmas oh you can't see it's all white but we're at Farm Sanctuary the largest uh, farm sanctuary in the United States um, in Watkins Glen New York it's over 200 acres we're here at this adorable little tiny house which I'll show you in a little in a little bit um, but this morning we're taking a tour of the sanctuary so I'll take you guys along with us as we as we tour Farm Sanctuary So sweet. Look at that nose. This is a dairy farmer, and a lot of take this Fish, and then Hi. And it like. Um, you want to take a take a selfie picture with me? Oh, you're so sweet. Now, why is he so friendly? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Because I think isn't it their nature to be more like shy around? Here? Hi. Hey. Oh, you're so cute. Look at those face. Oh, a sweet one. Yeah, I'm posing. Hi. Hi, baby. Hi, We're actually just getting ready to pack up and leave Farm Sanctuary. We got in last night and we watched a movie. We played board games um, and then we went to sleep. And then we woke up and we were right um, in front of the pig pasture so we can actually see the little, little piggies out there in the pasture. Not little. Um, <laughs> well, they're not so little yet. They're probably like 400 pounds. And we went on a tour, which my camera died pretty quickly on the tour. Sorry about that. And now we are getting ready to pack up. But I wanted to share this with you guys because, first of all, this place is really cute. So I want to show you around this little tiny house, which isn't that tiny, but very cute. And I also wanted to kind of update you on the future direction of the Sunshine Farm because over the past few months, we've really changed our perspectives or our plans for how we will be proceeding in the future for our farm. So let's just walk around this little cute tiny house real quick and I'll show you around. So um, this blinding light right here is the front door. Let me change the aperture so you can see the piggies. So if you look out there, you can see the fence line and there are some pigs right around there. <laughs> so the tiny house that we're in is called Marjorie and it's named after the story of this, this sweet goat mama named Marjorie who was pregnant and came from a neglect situation. And there's this really cute sitting room with the most amazing wallpaper ever that I'm definitely gonna find where it came from and get it because there's a little fox and baby deer and all of these floral patterns down this main hallway. And uh, he's in the way, but if you can move out of the way, I can show him in the kitchen. <laughs> the 
There's this little Keurig kettle, tiny little baby sink. There's like dishes, a little toaster oven, some pretty paintings. So this is the little kitchen in here. Then you walk into the bedroom. So these two barn doors slide across and there's like some closets on each side of the bed. And then you come over here, this fabulous little, little mirror. And here's the bathroom. I'm obsessed with this sink. We both love this sink. And we didn't actually take a shower because we weren't here long enough. But a really cute shower. Just really cool little spot. Oh, I love the tile too. Baby, you don't belong. Your love was cold. Heart made of stone. But I'm just fine. Oh, and the fridge was also stocked with fridge slash freezer with some of these Amy's vegan burritos, some some almond milk. So Jean Bauer is one of the co-founders of Farm Sanctuary, and he wrote this amazing book called Living the Farm Sanctuary Life. And actually, I had someone reach out to me recently and tell me that I should buy it, and I didn't realize it was included in our stay here. So we, we have a copy of that book, which I'm definitely going to be reading. It talks about just like the practices in the animal agriculture industry and living a more compassionate lifestyle and also a lot of vegan and plant-based recipes. So we're not normally ones to splurge. We really are pretty low budget when it comes to like traveling, like staying in Airbnbs and stuff like that. But this was our Christmas gift to each other, was a night here and it was better than any other presents because we got to spend time together, we got to come to this awesome place that's doing amazing work. It just felt very special. Like yeah. coming here and having like all these snacks ready for us and just like the ambiance of this place is uh -huh. like really special. So. Definitely. So yeah, definitely. We were disconnect a little bit because they have Wi-Fi that doesn't allow streaming and yeah. they don't have cell they service here. They can't get both of us in here. So we didn't, yeah. have, there was no distraction of watching a streaming TV show or anything like that. We just kind of had to Yeah, watched a movie, and cheesy Christmas movie and um, Played a board game and had to bring old DVDs. So that was really awesome. When we started our farm, I actually wanted to move to a horse farm so I could ride horses. Like, so I could have a horse and ride my horse. That was like kind of the goal. And since that time, uh, we've both changed a lot. I've changed a lot. I'm not sure how I feel about that anymore, but what I do know is that. I am very passionate about providing a safe, spa safe space for animals that don't have a good future ahead of them. So a home and also in the process of that, teaching people about the value of farm animals and really they're no different than the dogs and cats and um, other animals that we call family members. And then also having like permaculture gardens and no-till gardens and orchards where we're growing plant-based food and able to avoid animal products through that. Yeah. So really like the farm started as what we thought it would be like a little small horse farm and now we're moving towards having an animal sanctuary, a farm animal sanctuary and like educational farm where we teach people about compassion towards animals and then also the alternative which is eating, growing, enjoying the process of plant-based living. Because I think there's a really beautiful connection between having a plant-based garden and farm with also having an animal sanctuary. Sometimes I see like one or the other and when you bring them to the two together it can be really amazing how how you can teach people about the alternative option when it's right there. And I think growing your own food, it just leaves such an amazing impact on the world and on our mental health and physical health. So it's just, it's just been amazing in my life and I, I want to teach people that they can do that at whatever scale or um, way they can. So. so that's where I see us headed. We'll start small, you know, Definitely. if there's an animal that comes uh, in our path that we feel like we are capable and prepared to care for, we will, but we're not looking right now to add any animals. We, we're not equipped or we don't have infrastructure ready. So what we're going to do is we're going to move our goats to a different area. We're going to have some infrastructure 
setup that's going to change a little bit over the next year or so and have an area where we could have like some pot-bellied pigs and maybe an, an, a larger area where we could add in more goats to our herd um, eventually have more pasture set up with different run-in shelters so we could have more horses or other large animals like cows together but it's it's a long goal and we absolutely do not want to bring an animal in that we cannot adequately care for i don't want to bring an animal in that's going to live a subpar life um even if it means like saving their life i just don't think that right now that's a good choice for us so slowly building up our capacity and doing what we can and um thanks for being here i hope you enjoyed our little trip to farm sanctuary and uh, maybe one day you can visit our little farm sanctuary and stay in a <laughs> airstream renovated airstream that we're setting up um I hope you all have a wonderful holiday season and a very, very happy new year. We love you guys. Bye. Bye, friends. Hi, cute little tiny house. I look like a ball. Huh? My head just looks like a round egg in this hat. It's a little, little egg. <laughs>